Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your own custom masks inside of a layer or a node based video editor. So, I'm going to be showing you guys in all of 0.2 and Filmora X. So, let's get into it. So the first thing you're actually going to need is an image that is going to be the actual mask, which by the way, you can use an image online that's just a simple black and white like silhouette, or you could even create your own and even go frame by frame. And if you changed it in between each frame and made your own, you can make your own transitions and stuff. So this is actually really, really advanced if you want to do that. So do is we're going to be using a free program called paint.net. You can use almost any other image editor. Um, you have all these different shapes and stuff with it. So I'm going to show you guys the basics of actually doing it. So what you're going to do is you're obviously going to have to open up paint.net after you've installed it. Once you have that, it, when you open it, it should look something like this. And once you have that, let's create a, a new layer and we're going to go down here and we're going to delete it by clicking this delete layer. Now we're going to have that layer selected and we're going to go up to image and we're going to do resize right there. So instead of this 800 by 600, you're probably going to be shooting in 1920 by 1080, which is HD. So let's do 1920 by 1080 pixels, 1080. All right. Once you have that, you can also change your resolution right here. Um, I'm going to make it pretty high resolution. But there we go. So now that you have that, all you have to do is create another layer if you want. You can rename this layer by just double left clicking on it. I'm gonna call this background, background. I press okay on that. I'm also gonna rename this one the actual mask. So once you have that and you press okay on them, all you have to do is on the background layer, I'm gonna grab the paint bucket tool right there or you can press F for it. Make sure you have your black color in the primary. All you have to do is just click on that layer. Make sure you have the background layer selected. Then if we go into the mask, all you have to do is select this shape one, or you could even use like, you can use the line tool, text tool, stamp tool. You can even use the paintbrush tool to create your own special effect for your actual mask. So I'm going to just show you guys a basic example with an actual like shape and then one with text, but you can do this with almost anything. So I'm going to do that. We're going to go up here and we're going to select this. All you have to do is hit the two blue arrows right there and it'll switch it so your primary is actually the white. And now that you have that, you should be able to drag, you can press shift. Um, right up here, you see how it's only drawing a line. What you can do with that is instead come up here and instead of doing the um, draw shape outline, we can do the draw shape fill. And now that we have that, we have this. This is your anchor point. You can move that around if you needed. You also have your basic sizing, and if you hold shift, it should keep all the proportions similar. So now that we actually have that, you can actually export this. So you would do a file, um, save as, um, make sure you put it into the direct directory or wherever you need it, and make sure you save it either as like a JPEG or a PNG. It doesn't fully matter. So with that, I actually have some that are pre-mains that have all of the different shape options and stuff so you can see the shapes and the text. So now let's actually get into Olive and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So once you have Olive open, all you have to do is do a right click import. Make sure you import all of the footage that you need. So I'm gonna do this real quick. So all you actually have to do is you need to drag over like your video clip or the image, but I'd recommend starting with the video clip, dragging it in so it adds it to the first track. Now that we actually have that, you can see the actual video preview right there. I'm actually gonna cut this real quick. So we have that. And now you can double click on the images to actually preview them. So I actually have this black and white one. There should be one in verse. Here's a text example, white mask with black background, white text with black background. And then this one is the inverse of those. So make sure you guys double click on the one you want. I'm gonna actually show you guys how to do it with the white one first. So all you have to do is drag that to the layer on top of it, select it, and I'm going to drag it out real quick just so it's the same length. So now go up to the node editor and we're going to do a right click, go down to filter, show all. And now that you see this, you can see that it's actually all merged into this one merge node. We're actually going to be using a math node, basically the same as a blend mode would work in a normal layer editor. So let's do the add math, go down to the math node right there. We're going to take this, bring this one into value one. We're going to bring this one into the value two. And all you have to do with that is hold control after clicking and dragging on it, which will allow you to go and connect them. 
So now that we actually have it connected there, we can get rid of this merge node and it's gonna disappear all of a sudden. This is actually completely fine. All you have to do is take this one and connect it to the viewer and put it into the texture node. So if you click on the actual math node, you can see it's on the add. So basically what it's doing is it's taking video one and it's adding video two and it's using a blend mode basically to combine them. So the black is being removed, replaced with the actual other one. So you can see that, I'm gonna actually move that so you can see it a little bit better. And we actually don't need these connecting. So you can see how the math nodes are combining them. Um, you can go for add, or if you select multiply, it's basically gonna inverse it, and it's gonna leave the black and get rid of the white. I'm gonna show you one more example where we're actually gonna be using the other one. So let me change that length. We're gonna go over to the text. We're gonna make this one black the uh, black background with white text. And as you can see, it's still using that combination right here. So if you look at all of them, it brings these two clips are on the same track going into this one video node and all of these effects are adding to both of them. So you can see right there, it's removing the white and it's still removing the white right there. So those are the absolute basics, but all you have to do is double click on that, go into the parameter editor and switch it to add if you actually want the white to stay and you wanna get rid of all the black. That's the absolute basics of actually being able to do this in Olive. So let's go and look actually at Filmora. All you have to do is make sure you have your 16 by nine or whatever, press new project and right here you're gonna add your video clip. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing where we add those two video tracks or whatever and those should be importing right here and it shows the actual track that it's importing. We're gonna go back and we're gonna import the actual images that we made. So as you can see right here, it's showing me all of the different ones. Let's actually put this one on track one. But I'm gonna drag this out real quick. All you have to do is select on your upper track, double left click on it, and it's gonna pop up to the left of it all of the different options. So if you drop down the compositing one and you change the blend mode to darken, it's gonna get rid of the white and leave the black, as you can see right here, just like that. All you have to do to actually change that to be the opposite is instead of choosing darken, we're gonna go down and we're actually gonna click lighten. And all that's gonna do is leave the white and get rid of all the black, allowing us to see the video clip underneath it. Hopefully this tutorial was really, really helpful for you guys. If you guys wanna see more videos and you're actually a beginner and you're wanting to learn and stuff like that, I actually have a playlist right here that talks about all of the absolute basics that you really need to know if you're getting into video editing. Then we also have a video over here that YouTube recommends for you. And with that said, guys, Remember, keep on editing.